I got the mags out of the car. I also got the other stock out of the car. That was pretty funny. My mom's like, no! It's my car! It's my car! No! You can't go into my car! You can't get into my car! You can't go in my car! No! No! I'm like, Mom, I just want to get my stuff out of the trunk. I left it in the trunk the other day. No! No! Pitching a fucking fit. So I just took the controller and uh, popped the trunk. Got my stuff out. So um, I got three BX25 mags. Uh, I opened the fourth one. It's in the other room. So um, I'm not getting back up. And then I got my 10 rounders. I got a bunch of 10 rounders. Also, these suck. These things fucking suck. These try round things. I mean, even, even, sorry about the glare. Even on the 1022 stock, these things freaking suck. I hate these things. But uh, the company, Hightower Army, makes a clip that just uh, it takes two of them and clips them together back to back. Like, uh, like this. Clips them back to back. So you got a 20 rounder. Pop, pop, pop. You out. Put back in. Pop, pop, pop. The other 10 rounds. So I'm going to get a couple more of those. Uh, that's a lot of max using um, 10 rounders and this is not a big deal it's just uh, it's a little easier using the BX25 and I did shoot it today I went out and shot it with the 4 I used one, one BX25 right take the shit out of your mouth and talk straight I went out and shot one of the BX25 mags because I wanted to try this bullpup stock out. It shot like a dream. And uh, just waking up from a nap. So, And I'm under the influence too. Yeah, that's right. I took my, I took my Xanax. My anxiety. My, my Xanax. Yeah. I'm under the influence. You hear that, Wookiee? You getting, you getting your panties in a twist? You freaking out? Hmm? Anyway. Took a nap when I got home, so I, and then I just woke up, took my meds. I feel better. So uh, I have to get used to this. Uh, I'm not really used to bull pups, but the way this is, I have the bolt locked back. But the way it is is when it, it fits perfectly. It's it's not loaded. See? It's, it's not loaded. I can. I actually did one hand it. It's, it's freaking one hand's pretty good. Those are. Uh, arms core high velocity rounds in there it's just storage you know they don't actually feed into the gun in any way it's just storage but like I can one hand this thing and it's it, it's freaking gorgeous I was using this red dot I have the cap on it right now but I was just and uh, it shoots really good I mean just a standard little red dot and it shot pretty good I tried the vortex scope on it and uh, it's it doesn't come far back enough not enough eye relief so um that, that that's all right i just get a uh, you know get a different uh red keep this red dot on it but look for a different one because i'm not i'm not gonna spend much money right now on stuff i'm cheap frugal no frugal is the word but yeah i used up uh been using the Arms core. I got a ton of this stuff. I bought it back in 2011 and 2012 when it was cheap. So I got bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks and bricks. Sorry about that. No, I feel like shit. So I started making the video a couple hours ago and then I got in the middle of the video, knock on the door. Guess who? Yes, that's right. Off off our pigs, or at least, or corrupt pigs, whatever. So, on, on behalf of Wookie, and they're, um, hey Crawford, how you doing? Can, can you come outside? We want to talk to you. Uh, you, you don't need, is your mom home? No, you, can you come outside, please? We want to talk to you, man. Now, we're your friends. Oh, we saw your videos. That's a cool video, man. Can, can you bring that P, that P90 out so we can see it? Well, technically, we're a, we're also PBSO and ATF. They're sort of we're sort of the same thing. That's so can, can you show us that? Can you come out here like fuck off? 
So I printed out so many of these damn letters, um, and I always throw a copy underneath the door that the printer ain't really... I need to buy a new printer, because I already got new inkjets, and it's just not working anymore. This is from uh, my attorney's office, and it states... Uh, I can't even see it, so worn out. Right. Consider this letter a formal request to cease from speaking to or con contacting our client outside of or without the approval of this firm. Any further communications with our client must and should be through this office. If you have the need to speak to our client for any matter, please contact this office and we will facilitate the meeting or meet you at a agreed upon location. And uh, they, what they do is, you know, they, they harass me. I then tell the lawyer and it's, oh, no, no, no. We, we, Edwin's lying. We were never there. Um, he's cr he's crying. Well, he's he's on mind altering medications. We were never here. We were never there. We were never there. And they never you know want to meet. They never want to meet. So just all I can do is I print this out and I, with a piece of with a piece of tape, stick it to the window, and I tell them leave me alone. And I record them. Now, I'm not going to post the video of me recording them because every time I do that, it seems to cause more problems for me than solutions. Just like that video where they came to my house right after I got the attorney, they came right out to my house telling me that uh, I need to take, a, take down that GoFundMe thing and that I need to cease from having a, a lawyer, that I need to fire them and stuff like that. And... Uh, Basically, it's it's really hard to tell whether they're here on an official capacity, you know, on their hours and just being dicks, or if they're here on an unofficial off-hour capacity just to rattle, just to get me rattled, you know, and just to get um, Wookiee the satisfaction of seeing me have anxiety and whatnot. But anyway... Sorry about that, and I can't cop print out any more of those things, so I'm gonna have to put the, the file on a SD drive and take it to the, maybe take it to the bank or um, I hate going to the library and print out several more copies. Anyway, so where was I? So I can't fucking remember. So I shot the I shot the high tower armory P uh, P ninety dash twenty two. Uh, with the red dot, and it shot really good. Um, I do need to make a couple modifications, as I have noticed that I over-tightened the, the nuts and bolts on the stock to get them to fit together. Well, I didn't know that I... it didn't. They didn't need to be that tight. So I loosened them up, and I've noticed some spots where um, next time I take it apart, I'm going to take some areas down with a file or a cuticle file, you know, to take off some plastic. Because uh, the bolt doesn't want to rack, really. See how there's some resistance in there? I'm thinking about uh, on the opposite side right here. Just take down a little bit so that it'll free movely. Also, I went on eBay and bought a, um, a couple of springs and a new charging handle. Because this charging handle is about to snap. I can't quite pull it if it's um, been discharged. I can't quite pull it back. Right now I can because it's already charged. And um, the steel on plastic, you know, cuts through plastic. So I ordered for um, $24.99 free shipping. Da, 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 da. Stainless steel guide rod comes with a uh, st stainless steel charging handle, which will fit perfectly to the slatch. And it comes with three springs, a subsonic spring, a standard spring, which is the same spring that Ruger uses, which is in, already in here, and a hyper-velocity spring, you know, for if you use some hot ammo. So when, those, when that comes in, I think I'm going to put in the subsonic spring. Also, I'm going to take the uh, polyurethane buffer out and drill it and put in a stainless steel pin 
so that because um, when I shoot it, I notice that uh, the bolt coming back and slapping the polyurethane buffer is still slapping the receiver. So every time the energy comes back with the bolt, it's and it's just it doesn't really it doesn't bother me. It's just um, that's my back that just cracked not my arm. But every time it's just. It's just, uh, it slaps, it goes like this. It goes up, or to the right, or, you know. So I think I can fix that by taking the polyurethane buffer out, drilling through it, uh, maybe with a 1 8 and putting in a stainless steel pin, and then putting it back in there, so that when the, bol the bolt comes back, it'll slam into that polyurethane buffer, but then there will be a stainless steel pin to back it up to keep it from deforming backwards and slapping into the receiver. Because there's a good um, millimeter of space between the buffer and the, the back of the receiver, which the polyurethane buffer contour contours to it a little bit. Also, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I, uh, this is a fake can, and that's another thing they're like, oh, we, we have, we have the right, blah, 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 to come into your house if we want, and see, no, no, they do not, I made sure the door was locked, I told them to go fuck themselves, and I put this against the glass, I took the can off, and I put it against the glass, this is not a real suppressor, this is a faux suppressor from Cheaper and Dirt, fake and the, as for the, he's like, oh, you have real suppressors, you keep saying, well, that's none of your fucking business. Okay, are they in the house? That, again, that's none of your business, but no, I don't keep them here. Because I know you uh, dirty motherfuckers would love to just get a no-knock warrant and steal my shit and then blame a crime on me for some reason. Uh, I mean, in some way. So... I, I don't keep the real deal in the, this house. Hell no. That's that's like uh, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna leave a a, a twenty thousand dollar gold Rolex with with titanium parts out on the table and just leave all the doors open. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, I was showing the BX twenty five mags. Well, I uh, loaded them. I took them out of the box and I loaded them. I uh, took that ammo out of the little 10 rounders for the most part and loaded these BX 25 mags. I have noticed that um, on the th these three, the followers are not as good as the BX 1 mags, you know, the 10 rounders. They don't quite go all the way down, and there's a huge gap. Like, I can fit my entire fingernail in here on all three of them. Um,. So I got three here, and I got, um, I got a headache. <laughs> Whatever. So I got an additional, an additional two BX25 mags. Um, just waiting, for, waiting for the. Uh, yeah, you can come pick them up. This guy didn't want them, so that I can go pick them up. Cause uh, a lot of people forfeited their prizes. Uh, Spoiled people, you know, at gun shows, are like, "This is." Uh, they were the whole time. They were, "This is fucking horse malarkey. This is horse shit. The prices are crap." Well, I don't know about them, but I was happy. I I got for ninth. Well, I just went and said, it. "Yeah, I got ninth place." For ninth place, I got two high tower armory stocks. There's the second one I got out of the car. I got total of four, uh, three BX twenty five mags with an additional two. Um, I might be getting the, an additional two for free. It depends. I'm waiting for the call. Um, but, yeah. But, uh, let's see. Uh, seven and eight uh, withdrew. And the other guys, uh, I think, just said fuck it and left. I mean, I'm sorry. Every Not everybody can get first prize. I didn't get first prize, but I'm certainly happy with what I got. I paid twenty five dollars for my entry fee. Twenty five dollars for my um, uh, what the hell is it called? If if I, God, what the hell was it called? Um, not certification. Um, if I can shoot, uh, what the hell is it called? Anyway, and uh, thirty five dollars for match their match ammo. 
because uh, the ammo I brought wasn't good enough. So, but whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm happy with. I got two stocks, uh, three BX25 mags, a possible two more BX25 mags, and I got a second stock, which I will be giving away in a subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm thinking about switching over to the new YouTube channel that I created. You know, it would be really cool if I can get my subscriber numbers over to the new account. That way I can actually gain AdSense. Because as it is, this account, the Zombie Mustard Ed 25 account, cannot, that it can't have AdSense. It has never, it's never had AdSense. It's ineligible. Even though it's been around since 2011. So...